Hi. After uh, doing so many uh, sketches of actual fans in my videos, I decided why not uh, take a video of an actual fan. This is now, uh, I think it's size 450. It's an uh, actual fan um, for normal temperatures. And uh, coming in closely, you can see the individual blades. And here, you can see the notches, those notches here. They are for the assembly people to fix the pitch angle of each blade. Those are right R, that means right. That means that that's done for the, for the impeller to turn to the right side. This is the cover. If you, I, I could remove the cover. If I could remove the cover, you would see the nuts holding all those uh, uh, blades on the impeller. If you look closer here, you can see the gap between the impeller and the casing. That's the gap I talked about once, and the bigger that gap is, the less efficient your fan is. Here's the gap, and here it is again. Obviously, this is now a very small fan. I think it's 450 millimeters in diameter. If you have bigger fans, the gaps can get quite big. I mean, in one big fan, I could actually fit two fingers of mine through the gap. I mean, I could go like, like that through the gap. So that was a lot of a lot of space there, which shouldn't be. Let me go to the back end. There's a terminal box. And here's the back end of the, of the whole thing. You can see the motor. There's the motor. And uh, there's the motor support. And you can see now, in this case, there's a terminal box and that cable going to the external terminal box. And you can see in this case how much space the motor and the motor support are consuming. You can see they're really a massive barrier for the airflow. You can imagine how much turbulence takes place around here, here, here. And um, <clears throat> I think getting a smaller motor and optimizing your motor support would do wonders to your fan performance and fan efficiency. Actually, the smaller the motor is, the better your performance is, and you can certainly do better than such a motor support, a more optimal or aerodynamic motor support would definitely benefit your performance and your fan's efficiency. And uh, you can see here, those, those are the feet, the casing, uh, are th these are, um, the feet are attached to the casing so the, so the, so the casing can stand. Other casings would have some struts where they can, uh, you know, hang from the roof or from the ceiling. And um, now, air could go this way and go out the other way or the other way around. Let's see what it says here. Ah, oh, there you go. See that arrow? That says that air goes through here and goes out here. And that flange here, that is done to attach dampers or guide vanes, or any other accessory the fan might need. So that's now a real life fan.